Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharon and I am a God girl. So today's video, we're going to talk about trials and temptations and how, you know, we can't escape them. They're going to come, they're going to test us. Have you ever taken a test in school where you thought you studied for it, but then when you got that paper back, <laughs> You're looking at it and you're like, Bruh. what? <laughs> like you were so confused, like how did I not do this well? How did I not pass this test? And sometimes it's because we miss, you know, certain key things out of our answers, which the teacher thinks is important. And then we end up, we end up not getting a, a good grade on it. The journey of life comes with many lessons. And as a child of God, we are subject to those lessons. We are going to go through lessons that are meant to teach us something. God tests us, or he allows trials and tribulations and temptations to come away because he needs to test us to make sure that whatever he has put in our hearts, whatever that he has taught us through his word, that we actually know it, like we are not just reading it, but we are actually doing it. We are actually implementing it in our lives. So he will allow a test to come your way. He will allow the devil to try you. He will allow temptations and trials and tribulations to come your way because he needs to make sure that he's making you into the image of Christ. That is his number one goal. The Bible says that we are to conform to the image of Christ. Like that is the end goal. That is the result. Like that is the reason for this Christian life is to at the end of the day like this is jesus this is us like that's what he's trying to do he's trying to make us you know into the image of christ in character in spirit and in likeness and he's going to test us from time to time to make sure that okay you are learning like you're moving forward you're progressing and you're learning that's the same thing he did with job in the Bible, he gave up the devil permission to test Job because he was like, you know what? Like Job, 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 Job is my guy. Like Job knows his stuff. Job is not going to fail this test. So you can try. Because he's not gonna fail. And guess what? He did it. But in the time that it was happening, Job wasn't having a good time. He was suffering. He lost so much, you know? But at the end of the day, you know, God rewarded him with so much more after he had passed the test. Now imagine if Job had failed that test. What would have happened? Most likely, you would have gone through a period of relearning all the things that God wanted him to learn and then going through that test again. God needs to know whether you're growing in him and against this world. And he's going to do that by testing you. You know, he needs to see how you react to certain things, how you respond to certain situations that come your way. Are you actually learning or are you just... <laughs> so he needs to test you. For me, I would say like last year, like no, 2016, um, there was a situation that came into my life um, that I feel came for a purpose and came for a reason. And that time, even though it was horrible, and miserable it taught me a lot like it really taught me a lot it really taught me how to forgive it taught me how to not go after my flesh it taught me how to you know discern more it taught me so much guys like it really it was like a whole lesson the start of this year or no like a couple weeks ago actually something similar came up you know in my peripheral and at first, if you're not like smart, you wouldn't catch it because when the devil comes, he will come in different ways and in different tactics. Tactics. He will bring the same problem and mask it to look like something different. So you think, oh no, it's not the same. This is different, but no. Nope. Same thing, same lesson, same test. The question is, are you going to pass it? So it came, you know, in a different way, in a different light, and I was just like, oh, you know, it doesn't really look exactly like what I went through. 
couple years ago. So I was just there and, and the Holy Spirit was just like, girl, this is a test, girl. <laughs> this is a test and I need you to pass this test. I'm trying to teach you the same things. I'm trying to teach you what to look out for every single time. So don't be fooled by it not looking exactly like what the other one was. You have to have that discernment and that spirit that speaks within you that tells you that, no, this is, if you peel all the layers back and you go to the root of it, this is the exact same thing, the exact same trouble that you're trying to go back into. And it was an eye opener for me. And I was like, you know what? Most times, in fact, no, all the time, God truly is trying to see if we have learned our lesson. And we go through terrible situations and we cry and you know we're sad and we're depressed and we sink into our uh, depression and stuff like that and it's like no just pick up the book and read and actually study and know what he's trying to teach you in that moment it is definitely for our good you know everything that God does that the devil thinks he's doing it to hurt us or do it to destroy us it is for our good like at the end of the day you come out stronger you come out better you come out with more wisdom you come out with a better relationship with God with a more deeper relationship with God you come out forgiven like it burns so many fruits inside of you that you can't but win in those situations and I just want to read a passage from James and it says this is um, James 1 2 and it says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. That is the job of God. That is the job of the Holy Spirit in our lives. He is in our lives to teach us, to guide us, to counsel us, he is the great teacher and he is in our lives to make sure that okay this girl needs patience bruh she needs that she needs patience in her life how am i going to get patience into her life and it's not by just you know whoop, patience is going to drop no he's going to take you through a process where he prunes you and takes you through that fire so that you come up at the other end looking pure and sparkling by going through that tough time at the end of it, you have patience. By going through that tough time, at the end of it, you're more loving. By going through that tough time, at the end of it, your faith, like, you know, he takes you, he takes us through these things because he wants to birth something in us. So we should, like, I'm not saying go out looking for trouble or go out looking for trials and temptations and sin, all these things. I'm not saying do that. But when you do find yourselves in the situations, just know that God is using that as a point of contact to reach you and to make you a better you because he needs you to be just like Jesus. He needs you to look just like Jesus in your spirit, not on the outside, but in your spirit. So I just wanted to encourage somebody today that whatever it is you're going through, whatever it is that you find yourself in, just know that there is a purpose and there's a reason for it. If God allowed it to happen, there's definitely a purpose for it. And that purpose is for his glory and for your glory. So I just want to encourage somebody today that no matter what it is, look deeper. Ask God, why am I going through this? Why is this happening? What do you want me to learn from it? And actually learn because he will come back and try and test you again to see if you've truly passed so that he can take you to the next step of your glory or if he needs to teach you more things. And as Christians, we want to keep growing. We want to just keep going higher and higher and higher. And so we need to watch out for these things because trust me, whew, they will come. And when they come, the Holy Spirit will tap hug out your heart and let you know mm, no it's a test like you remember the last one yeah you don't want to do this one again there's a lesson in everything and um, right now if you know you're going through something or you're going through a trial or a difficult time just pray right now and ask God to show you direction just pray to ask him to, to show you what it is that he wants you to learn from this and I want to pray with you guys right now for a second that whatever it is 
that whatever it is God that they are going through that each and everyone watching this video is going through that father that you show them the reason you show them the lesson in it you show them oh God and you birth in them that fruit of the spirit that you want them to have through this process father we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus amen thank you guys so much for watching my video I'm so excited guys because I always say this in my videos, like, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. <laughs> but <laughs> I am so excited because God is doing amazing things. And even by doing this, he's teaching me so much about him, about his word. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because every single day I'm always posting stuff, especially in my stories. Because, you know, we have to keep the fire going. Uh, we have to, <laughs> we have to keep fanning our own flames because, you know, the devil try. He, 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 he will try you. He will try you. Leave a comment below. Let me know a situation or trial or temptation that came your way and you learned from it. And what did you learn from it? Like, what did it change in your life? Leave that in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video.